So since we are a graphics class, very important to learn the use of tape, right? So what I do with the flame, I start out with an eighth inch tape. You guys probably want to come up and watch this because it's very important to watch how I manipulate the tape. The hardest part about the new roll of tape is finding the edge. Okay, it's not that way. Let's go the other way. That, there it is. Okay, when you're laying out flames, the key to actually laying it out, it's a little dance. This holds it, this pushes. I'm always going to be eight inches to a foot out when I'm laying out flames. You always want to keep your flame parallel or your tape parallel to the surface you're going to be laying the flame out. You never want to have your, your, your tape out to here because what happens when you try to tape? You fight it, right? You don't want to fight it. You want to flow with it, okay? So the thing that you do, anchor it in the corner, and look at how far, I'm almost up to the whole panel. This, this drives it, this pushes it down. So as I go, it's a nice smooth, let's go. Okay, here's a little trick too. We're gonna make these actual positive flames. So we're gonna cross up at the top, okay? And as you come down with the flame, a flame will always get gradually wider towards the teardrop at the bottom, going back up and making a flame at the next, at the next lick. You can see all the way through, it goes from thin to thick. This is the biggest point down here. Your tip is the smallest point. We also noticed too, how did I, how did I cut it? I didn't cut it, I used my thumb, hey now. So we'll do the same thing, you wanna do a crossover like that, come in and you wanna have a, the, the, the tightest point at the top and gradually get bigger towards the bottom. With me so far? This is a little dance, a little practice. When you do this on cars, this is obviously a small area that you would work on as, as being a car, where the car would be this whole side. So if I was to actually lay out flames on a car, well, let's go this way because I'm right-handed. I start off and say this would be the light or the front of the car. See how clean that is? All the way through, it flows. There's no angled points to it. That what it means is if you have an angled point, you stopped. If you stop, you have a starting point like the, like the whole dot thing we do our dagger strip. See how far out I am? Look at where the parallel is uh, with the surface. You see that little dance I did right there at the end of the, of the teardrop? I flipped it in my hand, probably didn't even see it, a little slide of hand motion. Now watch. Come to here, there. Obviously I'm doing it on drywall, so. And so on and so forth. You can see it all the way through. Did I stop? Did I, you know, there's one continuous way all the way through. Practice that. 